Hello everyone. In our last session, we have seen how to create a single sided PCB design of power supply by first creating its schematic and then creating its artwork. Power supply was one example which consisted of some very smaller components. In this session, we are take, going to take an example of another such a simple project and try to create a layout out of it. What we are trying to do is, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to take such kind of components which are not available in the standard EE library and which we will have to find from the parts section. So there is a very simple electronic project called transistorized timer. This is a transistorized timer. It requires an NPN transistor called BC547, an electrolytic capacitor, big sized capacitor now, we will have to take an actual big sized capacitor, a push to on switch, resistor, LED and some power connections. Now if I have to create a PCB of this circuit, what we will have to do is the topic of this particular session. So let us begin. First, we will have to see what components are present here. So we have two resistors present here. So we can first of all, <coughs> first I will do what? I will close this project and create a new project. I will call this new project as transistor timer. I will keep it as private project. You can see <coughs> the power supply related files are still open. So close them manually. Then go to the transistor timer project and now click on new schematic. This schematic needs to be saved into the transistor timer project. So let us let's call it say timer. So this is the timer's schematic. Now let us create this schematic which is very simple one. So from EELIB first I will take two resistors because those are the standard components available over there. Then there is a BC547 transistor. Now exact same transistor won't be available over here. One is present but that is not what we want. So what we want now is go to parts and search for BC547. I have told you before also whenever we are looking out for a part we have to look for the part for which we know the package and make sure that we select a part which does have a package. For example, for this BC547A, we can see there is a socket symbol, but there is no PCB package listed over here. Whereas for this transistor BC547B, we can see there is a PCB package available. What is the package shown here? TO92. Next thing to do is go to the data sheet of BC547, just type PDF BC547 in a Google search forum. You will get the link of a PDF file of BC547. That is usually the data sheet of that particular transistor or that component which you have typed. In this data sheet, we can see what is the specific package available for this transistor and which transistor I am having in my hand. Based upon that, we have to select a very proper package for the transistor. Let us see. So this data sheet shows BC5467889 and 50 all of them have a TO92 package. So it is shown here. So while designing a schematic take BC547 which has a TO92 package. That is great. Just click on place here. Now we placed it. Next what we have is LED and a 1000 microfarad capacitor. So now we will have to search for a part which is 1000 microfarad. Again in the same way, 1000 microfarad 25 volt but now you can see the PCB package size is larger one. In the power supply also we should have taken such a power supply or uh, such a capacitor which has a larger PCB footprint. So just click on place, we get it here. Next in this schematic we have a button or a push to on switch. Let us search in parts. This is also called as tactile switch. So I will just put tactile and some switches are being found. Now, this is an SMD package. Remember a PCB footprint where only red pins are shown is usually a 
टॉप कॉपर पैकेज और सरफेस माउंटिंग पैकेज सो द सर्च काइंड ऑफ पैकेजेस शुड बी अवॉइडेड वेन क्रिएटिंग अ सिंगल साइडेड पीसीबी और थ्रू होल पीसीबी सो लेट्स सी अनदर पैकेजेस दिस इज अ स्विच विच इज अवेलेबल इन मार्केट बट द पैकेज इज एस एम डी फॉर दिस ऑल्सो लेट्स सी अनदर वन अनदर वन अनदर वन That's it. So this is a perfect package of this switch that is available in market. Let's check this. Lastly, what is needed is an LED. LED is available in the EE lib also. So just go to EE lib and select the LED. LED. Here is this. Apart from that, as the schematic shows, there is a 12 volt and ground connection. So what we have to do is we have to give a connector, a two pin connector for giving the power supply as 12 volt and as ground pin. So let's select a two pin connector. Now we have taken all the components. Now we can start creating the schematic out of it. So whatever names are needed to be changed, just change them first. This tactile switch PTH is a big name, so just call it as switch. I'll call it as power. This is a thousand microfarad cap. I'll just call it as cap. I know the value, or I'll just put it as thousand UF. After placing the component, also we can rotate it using R. the circuit explanation is very simple as you can notice the transistor is used in a switching mode and whenever the switch is pressed the capacitor charges fully and whenever the switch is released the capacitor will discharge slowly when the switch is pressed the led turns on because the base gets a positive supply but when the switch is released the led doesn't turn off immediately because the capacitor is discharging so that's the simple working of this circuit let's finish the project so there is a transistor to the base of uh, base of the uh, there is a resistor to the base of the transistor and there is a capacitor in this fashion as shown here a switch is connected like this using w we can choose the wire tool as can be seen the schematic is being completed we'll see one more important aspect of pcb designing in this session and that is called as netlisting netlisting means you do not need to connect all the pins which are say for some common connection like ground or vcc directly to the particular connector instead what we can do is in the wiring tools we can have a net flag of say 5 volt or say vcc only I just take on a net flag of VCC. I'll connect it here, and I'll take a net flag of ground, and I'll connect it here. Now remember, whenever you connect these symbols in the entire circuit, now this is a smaller circuit, but in a circuit, whenever you connect these symbols, they all will be interconnected to each other. So ground is at this point, and then I'll put another ground symbol here, and then another VCC symbol. over here and i will connect them to the connector it simply means it simply means that pin number 1 of this connector will be connected to the vcc or all those points which are connected to a terminal called vcc and pin number 2 will go to all those points where we have used this 
ground symbol. So that finishes our circuit or schematic for this particular mini project. Let's save it <coughs> by giving control S and then let's try to convert this project to PCB. Now as you have seen this is a very simple and very smaller package. Now see there is some error. It's showing that the capacitor's package is invalid. Good that we have this error. So what we can do is instead of using this capacitor, we'll have to change our capacitor. So just go on to the capacitor point and delete it. Again go to the parts and just put 1000 QF. We'll find many components listed over here. All of them having some good PCB package. So this also shows us looks of capacitor, which is perfectly suitable for us. Let's choose this. I have just double click now instead of clicking on the place button. And let's connect it over here. So the capacitor has been placed and all the connections have been made but this connection has been missed so let's connect it like this okay so the connections are done now by changing the capacitor now the capacitor was invalid so first delete it from here and then go to this schematic and click on update PCB. Now I don't want to convert project to PCB because a PCB file has already been generated. I'll save this PCB file. What we have to do in the schematic now is update PCB. So whatever changes are done in the schematic are reflected into the PCB. It shows that a new component C1 is added. I'll just click on apply changes and I can see it here. So it's done. We'll follow the same way as we did last time to create a PCB for this. So there is only one connector involved which is for the power connection. Then there is this transistor. This is a resistor connected to the base of this transistor. So let's move the components, adjust them so they become a bit comfortable to see. Please see, now this resistor is between switch and LED. It doesn't make sense if I place it here. It has to be over here and it has to be like this. So all our components have been placed properly. Let's go to track mode. Let's place at least one track, say from this point to, okay, this is red. Red is a top copper track, we don't want that. So let's choose the bottom glare and then go to the track mode. Now, a track is placed. Select that track. Go to the width and as told you before, let's, let's take a 25 mils width or a 25 mils track. Mil is the same unit as TH which equals to 0 0.001 inch. So that's how you can connect or interconnect all the connections which are present there. slowly and steadily perform all the connections which are visible. Once all the connections are completed, it shows us no thin lines and everything seems finished. So here we have created another mini projects PCB. We can add a text over here as we want to connect plus 5 volt over here and ground over here. I'll select the text. First I'll put it as plus 5 or plus 12 or simply call it as VCC. And then 
I'll change its layer to top silk. Similarly, you can change it for the another text. And this is supposed to be ground connection. Just put it to ground and change its layer to top silk. So that's it for this exercise. I hope you will find it very easy as well as enjoyable to create this kind of PCBs. Thanks for watching.